What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Super Nintendo video game review for you this week. This time, I'll be taking a look at Tiny Toons Adventures, Wacky Sports Challenge, which was developed and published by Konami with a North American release date of no December 1994. This game, shortly after, was also ported to the Game Boy. Wacky Sports Challenge is an up to four player party game where you get to choose one of four characters and complete in seven different sports challenges, such as Birdman or Olympic Obstacle, just to name two of them. The story for this game goes, Montana Max has decided to host an Olympic-style festival with the winner taking home over $1 million. Each of the four characters hopes to win this for their own ends, such as Dizzy hoping to have an endless party with all the food he can ever eat. Now, let's touch briefly on this game's controls. Tiny Toons is drastically different than a lot of other later-gen party games because this game requires much more finesse and timing than endlessly just mashing the button for a game like, say, Mario Party. So, overall, I enjoyed it. Didn't find any issues with the controls. Next, I'd like to touch on the music and sound effects. If you're familiar with the cartoon, the music of this game fits right in. Same with the sound effects. I have no complaints here. And likewise, while mentioning the cartoon, the backgrounds, sprite work, and pixel art all look like it was pulled straight from the original run of the Tiny Toon series. So finally, to close out this review, is Tiny Toon's Adventure Wacky Sports Challenge worth picking up and playing today? Well, if you love the cartoon or are in need of a good multiplayer game, then yeah, go ahead and give this one a try. It still stayed relatively cheap, with a price trading price of almost $25. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.